The quest for success. The big showdown almost upon us. And the likelihood of a game to be savoured and cherished. But who's going to win? We'll leave that to the courageous amongst you. What next? We'll find out on EA TV. And welcome to one of the most football crazy cities anywhere in Europe. We're in Dortmund, famed, of course, for the famous Yellow Wall. My name is Derek Ray, and sitting alongside me, ready to provide all the analysis, is Stuart Robson. And what we have coming up for you is action from Champions League match day one. It is Borussia Dortmund versus Dinamo Zagreb. Thanks, Derek. Well, the hosts are clear favourites going into this tie. But with that comes pressure, particularly against a team that will remain compact, are well-drilled defensively, and are a threat on the counter-attack. If the hosts don't go through, though, it will be a major upset. Starting 11 for Borussia Dortmund. Gregor Kobru stands between the posts. Nico Schlotterbeck plays alongside Valdemar Anton in central defence. And in this tactical setup, they have just the one player in attack. the visitors line up today well I'm just a little worried they might be too negative here it's certainly going to be hard to break down with that five-man midfield but will they have enough going the other way I'm not sure to open the scoring here. And the battle's in, it's converted! A goal is his, and now he can exhale! Well, as you can see, the keeper makes no effort in the end. He was hoping it would be struck down the middle, but it's an easy finish, really. Survive 
that attacking push. Well, had that gone in, the game was firmly in their hands. Now, though, they've got to make sure they don't let this slip. Well, there was impending danger, but good defending. Jan Koko. Kogba. Baturina. Piazza. Well, attacking possibilities. taking care of the situation Emre Can this could be trouble seven Fizzles out. Julian Riosol. And the ball is with Girassi. Now, counter attacking possibilities here. Well, they seem to be onto something positive, but it faded away. And there the first half ends here in Dortmund. He's been the standout for a side so far, don't you think, Stuart? Well, he did most things right, didn't he? He certainly showed his quality in that first half. He played well, I thought. The second half restart here at the home of Borussia Dortmund. Piazza. It's with Josef Mišić. And he's in. And he's done it. Parity again. A magnificent game unfolding. Well, just look at this again. It's so hard to knock off the ball once it gets going. Of course the defending could be better, but that's a great individual goal. So underway again, following the goal that made things level. Emre Can. That one has promise. Baturina. Piazza. Now with Petkovic.
Good movement. not going to do well wide of the target well they are committed to making the substitution here Valdemar Anton here's course now we have 20 minutes left in this game possess your opponent Bruno Petkovic Marco Piazza well he missed the targets and then some wide it went Pascal Gross, Nico Schlotterbeck, Brandt with it, could be dangerous. Driven in the corner. Not away completely. Nicely timed tackle. Yatsa. Now with Petkovic. On the attack in the closing phase. But it fizzles out thanks to that piece of defending. Distributing it well. Dortmund have been awarded the free kick by the referee. Full time then, and the ideal start for Borussia Dortmund. They have three points from the first match in the Champions League. Yeah, that's a good win and a vital three points. Another win next time out, and they'll be in a great position.